All right, let's dive into some exciting news from DeepMind. They've created a new approach to train AI models named JEST, which stands for Joint Example Selection. This method not only speeds up training, but also makes it much more efficient. It's a total game changer for AI development. Let's uncover why JEST is so revolutionary. Training AI models usually requires an immense amount of computing power and energy, much like trying to teach a child all subjects in school one by one. For example, complex systems like ChatGPT need significant power and water resources to keep their large data centers cool, consuming energy on a scale similar to Bitcoin mining. The need for more efficient training methods has become increasingly important in the AI industry. The team at DeepMind have managed to revolutionize the AI training process with Jest. Their method has resulted in up to 13 times fewer iterations and 10 times less computation, drastically reducing both training time and energy consumption. This significant improvement could have major implications for the speed and efficiency of AI development. Jest works by selecting batches of data that complement each other during training rather than focusing on individual pieces of data like traditional methods. And think of it like studying multiple languages instead of learning English, German, and Norwegian separately. Jest would select data that allows you to learn these languages in a way where what you learn in one language helps you understand the others. In the same way, Jest trains AI models on batches of data that work well together leading to faster and more efficient learning. Jest uses a technique called multimodal contrastive learning where it examines and contrasts different types of data like text and images together. This allows Jest to identify connections and dependencies between the data, resulting in faster learning for the AI. By grouping data that complement each other, Jest helps the AI understand the data in a more comprehensive way, reducing the amount of time and computation needed for training. The efficient utilization of different data types is a key factor in Jest's improved training speed and energy efficiency. One of the coolest aspects of Jest is its use of a pre-trained reference model, which directs the AI toward high quality data. This means that Jest can achieve the same performance as traditional methods with up to 13 times fewer iterations, requiring only 10 times less computational power the drastic reduction in energy consumption is not only impressive, but also environmentally beneficial. This makes Jest not just a groundbreaking AI training method, but also a more sustainable approach to AI development. At a time when AI's energy demands are becoming a global concern, Jest's introduction is especially significant. Recent studies show that AI workloads consumed about 4.3 gigawatts of power in 2023 close to the power consumption of an entire country like Cyprus. This number is expected to rise rapidly. To put things in perspective, a single chat GPT request uses 10 times more power than a Google search. By 2030, AI might consume a quarter of the US power grid. The effectiveness of Jest is highly dependent on the quality of training data, which makes data curation a vital component of the Jest approach. This means that while JST shows incredible potential for large-scale AI projects with extensive resources, it might pose a challenge for hobbyists or small teams lacking access to high-quality training data. In a nutshell, the JEST method reinforces the idea of garbage in, garbage out. To produce outstanding results, JEST requires top-notch training data that can provide the ideal starting point for the bootstrapping process. If widely adopted, Jest could significantly impact the AI industry. It has the potential to reduce power consumption, training costs, and development timelines. One of the coolest discoveries is data quality bootstrapping. Essentially, this process uses a small, highly curated set of data to guide the training on a much larger, less organized set of data. So even if you start with a tiny, high quality data set, Jest can help you scale up to larger, messier data sets without losing quality, which is an impressive feat. The potential implications of Jest are huge. High quality data sets are typically difficult and costly to produce. So the ability to guide training on larger, lower quality data sets using a small curated set 
is a significant breakthrough. GEST has already shown remarkable improvements in learning speed and efficiency on various benchmarks, including WebLi, suggesting that it could significantly reduce the energy required for AI training. If GEST proves to be effective on a larger scale, we could see faster AI advancements with fewer resources, less strain on energy resources, and a smaller environmental footprint. The AI landscape in China has been heating up, with major companies claiming significant advancements in their large language models at a recent conference. SenseTime, a prominent AI company in China, made headlines by unveiling the latest versions of their SenseNova LLMs. They're boasting a 30% improvement in their new 5.5 model, which, if true, would be a significant jump in performance. CEO Xu Li was all about hyping up the SenseNova LLM, emphasizing the importance of using synthetic data to develop industry-specific logic systems as a key component of China's AI success. Xu Li certainly wasn't holding back when he claimed that the Sense Nova 5.5 outperformed the much acclaimed GPT-4 on five out of eight key metrics based on Open Compass benchmarking data. That's a bold move, throwing shade at OpenAI like that. While these claims are definitely something to keep an eye on, it's important to remember to take them with a healthy dose of skepticism. Despite SenseTime's claims, their stock price took a nosedive that same day in Hong Kong, and it seems like everyone was vying for attention at this conference. Alibaba's cloud division behind the Tongyi Chanwen LLMs was also in on the action, boasting about their recent success. According to CTO Joe Chingren, their AI platform has seen a massive surge in users with millions of new downloads and an influx of customers in just a couple of months. Chingren was keen to push the open source angle, stating that Tongyi Chanwen's models are now fully open source, closing the gap with their Western counterparts' closed source models. You can't have an AI conference without some bold predictions, am I right? Yan Yunji, CEO of Minimax, took things to another level when he stated that, in the future, only five companies worldwide will create large language models. Talk about a provocative claim. If that were to happen, the implications for the industry would be massive. It's exciting and a bit intimidating to imagine such a dramatic level of consolidation in the field. SenseTime was on a roll at this conference. They also introduced two more models, one of which is 5.0, a multimodal model that can handle different types of data like text, images, video, etc. All in one integrated experience, and this is where things get really wild. They did a live demo of 5.0 that was mind-blowing. One of the SenseTime employees filmed himself standing on stage wearing a conference badge and t-shirt. It's like SenseTime's 5.0 model was putting on a little magic show for everyone at the conference. Not only did it identify the conference from just a video of an employee, but it also displayed its exceptional understanding of the event by answering follow-up questions all based on that brief clip. This is next level multi-model AI at play. Between the audacious performance claims, the promotion of open source models, predictions about an oligopolistic LLM landscape, and the astounding tech demonstrations, the Chinese AI titans made quite an impression at this conference. These Chinese tech companies are definitely stirring up the AI pot. They're not just sitting back and observing. They're taking aggressive steps to position themselves as serious contenders in the global AI game. It's really anyone's guess how the Chinese models will stack up against their Western counterparts in the long run. The question of whether we'll see a small group of dominant LLM providers dominating the landscape is a fascinating one. It'll be a real life chess match of technological advancement, strategic business decisions, and a healthy dose of swagger from these companies. China's AI giants are clearly not ones to be underestimated, and they're not holding back. From the bold performance claims to the innovative open source moves, it's safe to say that these companies have the ambition and the resources to make waves in the AI world. It's a thrilling time for AI enthusiasts and tech watchers alike. The only thing we can do is sit back, relax, and see how this game of AI Thrones unfolds. That's a wrap. If you're still with me, it means you're just as fascinated by the Chinese AI scene as I am. Remember to subscribe for more updates and insights on all things AI. Until next time.